Yo, so today I'm gonna try a new thing. Um, gonna try and do some post commentary and yeah, have recorded what I did before, and it's basically gonna be um, a tutorial on how to play with three characters but also kind of a tutorial on how to play this game generally Pillars of Eternity so I soloed this game for a long time and um, Five yeah let's for the path on listen to this for a second their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course a dim lantern his only protection against the encroaching darkness but the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. So yeah, I can't really... For a lot of enjoyment of this game, I can't really recommend soloing anymore. Um, let's pause the video here for a second. So... Because of that, I decided to do a trio run and... I've done this before, um, I've played the whole vanilla game before the expansions with three characters, but my party wasn't that good back then, and um, I also started doing White March 2 recently, but the trouble there was um, that I took a solo character I'd finished the game with, and I loaded up the save before you enter the pit before fighting Theos and went straight to the white march and there was no way to get XP in the whole game because I did all the bounties, did all the quests, killed all the bosses, all the dragons and um, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna um, finish that playthrough but I'd rather have a party with at least level 15 abilities for the higher level content so that's all less fun than I expected it to be and yeah as I said I don't really like soloing anymore because of white march 2 um, there's a lot of very tedious battle battles which solo require a lot of cheese so yeah why I pause the video right here is um, because I'm about to create the character and I want to talk about this a little bit since this is as I said this is meant to be a tutorial so um, I'm gonna go with a paladin here because I've gone with a paladin for such a long time and I can only recommend it it's of course not required you can pick any class and I'm gonna try to cover when I go to the attributes I'm gonna try and go to cover it kind of um, generally speaking so you can hopefully apply it to another character as well but yeah I really like to center my parties around a tank and in my opinion the paladins are the best tanks in this game and since um, version 3.0 there's a new level 15 ability for the Cypher that gives you the defense of your tank for your whole party and even before that ability I loved playing centered around a tank and you will see that before level 15 the way I play um, because since you don't start at level 15 you can't really revolve all your playstyle around that but um, if you play the whole game from the start to finish you can get to level 15 very very quick and 
that's that's really the way I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna go for good um, items early. I'm just basically I'm not always gonna play the game super challenging. Like I'm not gonna go for the dragons early and stuff like that. You could kill kill them with level ten or something with a three man party, but I really wanna um do this in a way a tutorial in my eyes should be so that everyone can follow it. Um I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. This is the first time I'm ever doing this so yeah, we'll see. So let's talk about the character choice here. Why did I pick the coastal or more if that's how you pro pronounce it. Sorry, I'm German, so <laughs> no idea, but let's call it or more and um I usually when I solo I pick the half Orlen. No, the wild Orlen, I'm sorry. Yeah, because um you get an extra defense bonus plus ten I think on all your defenses. Or is it plus twenty? Yeah, it could be plus twenty. Yeah, so you get a massive bonus when your will gets attacked and that's very useful against dragons because <coughs> they attack your will all the time and whether they hit you or not doesn't matter um, this time I decided to go with another race because first of all I don't really like to go with the same all the time so yeah that's the main reason I don't go with wild all in but another reason is that I think that prone and stun effects are the most dangerous and the most important status effects in the game. Um, if you fight the Alpine Dragon, which is one of the strongest, if not the strongest creature, then all his attacks will attack this very defense so it is a little extra it's 10 points extra compared to um, the wild Orleans defense but it is not to your deflection and so on so it is kind of situational but yeah, it's a little worse than the Wild Orlen for sure. But as I said, I've gone with Orlen for two playthroughs now and I had the Amor before and was pretty happy with it and since this is a party of three and not a solo, I think this is an alright choice. Um, but if you wanna take the best possible race, then go Wild Orlen. Okay, so let's continue the video. And yeah, we're gonna ch choose the paladin there. And so I'm opted to go with the Dakosi this time. Um, I went with Gold Pack Knights a few times, but I am not solo anymore, and I don't think that the point and strength, or in this case, you could get two points, of course from being um, cruel I don't think they matter anymore I think you can just um, ignore those because two stat points are very nice but the Dakosi Paladin has actually a useful class ability or how you call it, subclass order, paladin order ability, which I think is superior. <coughs> so yeah, that's why I went with the Dakosi this time, um, which will cause me some problems in the beginning of the game because I'm used to picking stoic and rational as my dialogue choices, but yeah 
let's move on with the video so I really have to get used to passionate and clever I took flames of devotion because I'm gonna use the disappointer in the beginning and I'm going with low constitution here but not um, it's not on minimum going with living lands just for the um, for the armor and for the shield at first because I always do that when I solo um, let's pause here for a second um, I think I will in a second go back or well, let's let's just see what I do but I think I'll just go back in a second yeah and I decide to go with another attribute here I think intelligence yeah I'm gonna go with intelligence here because um, the point is that I always killed Kalisha and Heodan and tried to true solo even the start of the game even though it's not required for solo achievements and you really need the bonus of the brigandine and of the mace but if you're gonna take along Kalisha then all the fights will be really easy so I went with the extra intellect here because I wanted to play a paladin with um, bigger intellect and as the other stat choices so might is not a bad start but um, I've come to not max that start except for certain fights so for the dragon fights I'm probably gonna respec and go with max might and almost max constitution because of higher um, higher fortitude but generally I really like perception as an offensive stat and I think perception is the best stat for any offensive character of course the paladin is gonna be a more defensive character and might is also responsible for your healing but I personally always try to play around healing a little bit I try to still finish fights with damage and of course later on we're gonna get the sacred emulation and then perception and might are very important both but still I think perception is more important um, in this game I think since you have three different kinds of hits and you also have a miss of course but you have the grace the hit and the crit the damage from having good accuracy which you get through perception is in my eyes in my opinion the best damage boost you can get I mean if you have 14 might I think I'm gonna go with 14 might in the end here and you of course you're gonna get buffs on your might so you're gonna get items and f sometimes food sometimes resting bonuses but just talking about the base might if you go with 14 might instead of 18 might um, that's 12 percent of damage and with a paladin you're not gonna do a hundred damage with one strike but if you did a hundred damage I would be 12 damage but if you look at the grace and the hit the difference is 50% damage and from a hit to the crit the same and of course if you miss you miss and don't do any damage so yeah perception most important stat and yeah I uh, was 14 might here and I think that's what I'm gonna stay with but I'm just pausing again just to talk about the other attributes for a second so s constitution um, for fortitude 
it has the same effect as might as far as I'm aware so it does not matter whether you split your points between might and constitution for fortitude defense if you haven't maxed your might and you want to have higher fortitude just max your might first on a character with high health so the paladin has higher health than many other classes I don't think it has max health I think monks and barbarians have more but <coughs> um, the paladin is one of the classes that can abandon health so if you have a class where you're not gonna higher the constitution for your health then rather go for might and that's what I did here um, I didn't max either of those but I didn't want to go for three constitution um, partly because of the health but also I don't like to min all the stats that are necessary to min. I mean if I went for three constitution I could put my might higher but I don't really like to do that and I went with three dexterity here because except for your opening shots with a uh, with flames of devotion and a heavy ranged weapon except for that dexterity doesn't really matter for a paladin um if you have a weapon you need to reload then dexterity is really useful but i always as my main strategy here in this run just did one shot with a pistol or with an arquebus at the beginning and normally switch to my melee weapon after it so i decided to go with three dexterity and yeah maxed out perception intellect and resolve because yeah intellect I really wanted to have high intellect because I have a party of three I could have gone with lower intellect um, my second party member will always be close to my paladin it will be another melee car and my third which is obviously going to be the cipher as I already talked about the mind web ability I want to use um, the cipher is going to be 6 meters apart from the melees for a lot since there is a lot of cipher abilities that need you to be 6 meters to the enemies you attack or sometimes even abilities you cast on your melees so max intellect is not needed I just would have needed um, enough intellect to hit my cipher with my aura but there's other benefits to intellect as buffs duration and that's the main reason why I wanted to do this because the Darkozy ability I talked about um, it is for buffing the accuracy of your party members that obviously lasts a lot longer with high intellect so that's why I went with that and 18 resolve of course is a no-brainer since this is gonna be a tank so resolve is for the deflection but also because intellect and resolve are maxed this guy's gonna have a lot of willpower all right let's move on and here I don't really need to pause the video here um, I'm flicking through and just checking but in the end there is a lock in the beginning of um, the tutorial and I don't really like missing that 
So in the end I go with um, labor as I always do in solos. I don't really need mechanics on my Pala because I'm gonna put that onto my Cypher because the Cypher has an inherent plus one mechanics. Yeah, I'm just choosing a hairstyle here doesn't really matter what we do. Hmm? Same with the voice. I'll lead the way. I always try to fit this to the paladin order I took, but there's neither a good, clever, a good, clever or passionate Let's one. So in the end, I went with the novel. <coughs> and yeah, as I said before, I'm gonna have a little trouble here um, as to 